let me show you into uh, Zim's main gallery. Um, this this room is like a, a tasting of all sorts of different methods of creating your own media, digital storytelling, basically. Um, the, the museum uses a lot of green screen technology, like this stage right here we call special effects, and it gives kids usually a, like a first introduction into how this technology works, you know, like the weatherman and that kind of thing, and, it, and how it replaces video for the actual green background. Uh, they love this too. Um, on the other side of the gallery here, we have uh, what you were talking about earlier, the mask making. Uh, all the different components are there. Uh, you can put together the own fantastical type creations, like the examples that are on the wall there. And um, it's, it's a completely unique creation every time. You'd be amazed at the kinds of things they make. Um, so, so we've got these activities where the kids can make their own things and take them home with them as well. And, and that's a kind of unique thing for museums, actually. Um, this leads into the costume area. And there's lots of different choices here in costumes for the kids. Um, just look at these fantasy creatures and uh, witches' costumes and things that really spark the interest in telling a story with you know this as as your prop. Um, the cool thing is they not only get to dress up in costume, but they can make their own sound background. They can uh, do sound effects as well as their own music for the story. And that's what this little area is in right here. We use a, a program called Super Duper Music Looper, and it's it's really funny. Yeah, it's 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 a simple program. You know, really young kids to really old kids have a great time doing it. And you create your own beats, and you select your own uh, instruments, and they all magically fit together. And you can actually record your voice in there for special sound effects for for your production, um, because all this actually leads. It can lead to um, a skit or like a newscast or a, you know, a story that you tell on our production stage. And that's, that's over this way. Another fun place that uses that green screen technology. And um, so all the different elements, there's the, the costumes, the, the sound effects, and even scripts. So kids can develop their own skit, scripts, write them up, and, and send all that information to... Uh, the main stage here and perform. Josh, go on, open up the, uh, the, the instruments there and yeah, let's, I want to show you all this cool gear that comes you know, into play when you're making your own production. So, so the kids are on stage here and they're in costume and they've got their own music going and, and uh, the words come up on a teleprompter right here. And all that's being uh, kind of like balanced, leveled, and cued from, from right here. And we record it for the visitor on to a DVD that they can then watch back. Yeah. So, so although it, the main gallery is like a, a tasting room, you can, really, you can really create a whole production out of the elements that are in it. What are, can they use the puppets that are up here? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's walk over there, and I'll show you a closer look. This is our masterpiece puppet theater, and uh, the little kids love this. You have hundreds of different little puppet characters that you can choose from and then you make your own little performance. It's pretty fun. So we call this paper people, and the object, the idea is that uh, you cut out the, the little uh, arms and legs and, and head, the, all the little, mem you know, parts of the, the paper person, decorate them, and uh, put them together with these little rivets so that they're jointed, and then you can make your own animations. And take your little paper person that you've created, and then you can take it to uh, one of these animation stages. And these are like a, a basic version of what we have in our animator studio that I'll show you in a second. And the idea is that you you have your stage, this is right here, and just a simple set of buttons to uh, record, you know? You record whatever movement is on the stage, and then you play it back by pressing that button, and then you get the movement there. Of course, you, know, you could take a long time with that. And you can add sound effects as well.